Welcome back, everyone. You may be trying to go ahead and figure out if your Android phone actually has a virus or not, and pretty much a few ways to check it. Now, the easiest way to go ahead and kind of, you know, make and assure you that you probably don't have a virus is if you, you know, open up an internet browser or you open up your phone and you randomly get these type of prompts. It says, warning, you know, there's a virus or whatever. Maybe you see something like virus has been detected or something. Maybe you see whatever this one is. There's a lot of different prompts that come up like this. If you see any of those prompts and it's kind of freaking you out, you probably 100% don't have a virus. It's just an annoying pop-up. There's many of these. If you just type in real virus warning Android, there's going to be a ton of diff different things that pop up very very annoying pretty much all you have to do to go ahead and fix those things is to pretty much get into your tabs so whichever internet browser you're using and you want to close out of all the tabs that you're rocking with also if you notice that every time you open up your internet browser you keep getting the same prompts well, well you may want to go ahead and clear your history and website data and you may want to go ahead and just pretty much delete that you know application and reinstall it so in this case if we go and make our way over to our settings we can go and click here click settings if there's any options here that say clear website history data or whatever then go ahead and go through with that if you're using chrome if you're using the samsung browser whatever browser you're using but also i would probably just recommend deleting that browser and reinstalling it because chances are these viruses probably just bookmarked your specific you know tab and that's pretty much what you'll have to do now another way to tell if you have a virus and this is very freaky it happens never really unless you're doing some really crazy things with your android phone if you've rooted it and custom rommed it and you're rocking some random custom ROM that it's not like verifiable or anything like that, then you probably want to go ahead and factory reset your phone. And you probably just want to go ahead and, you know, install the actual either like Lineage OS, or you can go and install the official version of Android. Because chances are, if you're running a beta, because chances are, if you're running a piece of software that's very, very weird and, you know, it's not verifiable by any, you know, legitimate developer, then you're probably going to run into some issues and you probably just want to go ahead and install the latest version. Another thing, if you go and scroll through all your pages here, and if you see that there are some really random applications that have been downloaded on your specific phone, well, sometimes that doesn't mean it's a virus. Sometimes that means that there was a you know web browser that opened and maybe you were allowed to install an application here and there. Sometimes that happens as well. And all you really have to do is go ahead and delete those applications and you should be good to go. Now, some people have mentioned that you can always go ahead and download you know some virus anti-free program or whatever. Now, this is also a pretty decent option. You can go ahead and download one of these and it'll go ahead and scan your phone for any viruses or anything. But I will tell you, Android phones have gotten really good recently, you know, for the last four or five years. And the amount of malware and viruses have gone down significantly. So the chances of anything even happening or you getting a virus on your Android phone are very, very rare nowadays. But if you want to download this and check it, you know, you can. It's always probably going to prompt you that something is wrong just because they want you to go ahead and upgrade because you always want to go ahead and upgrade your you know plan and all that stuff so the choice is up to you you can do it i mean avg is a big one there's a ton of other ones here and there but if you want to do that route you can but like i said if you have an android phone you should be okay and chances of you having a virus are very very slim so that pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then